I like it when like the players they take time out of their like social life <laughs> to just come and teach us and like be supportive and nice. And my favorite activity was soccer golf, where you get a soccer ball and you have to get it into like a trash can or something. And that's really fun. Girls Can Club stands out by combining soccer drills, fun, and life lessons. They give good advice. Take that advice and use be it. good. <laughs> yeah, use, use it. it. Ten year olds Teresa Bennett and Drew Drake have been in George Mason's Girls Can Club since 2012. Both girls believe their confidence has increased since being in the program. I think girls can do exactly what boys can do. Mm -hmm. It's false information when they say boys are better. For two years now, Gainesville resident Kirsten Burge has driven her daughter Madison 80 miles to attend UVA's Girls Can Club. We leave right after she gets out of school and you know we're not home until 11.30 at night and I'm apologizing to teachers for Friday morning and not having homework and she's super tired all day Friday but um, I think it's definitely worth it. Is that where This you year, Burge is looking forward to the club as much as her daughter because of the lessons she receives from a different group of women, the players' mothers. They'll tell me their experiences with their daughter and growing up and playing soccer and sharing all of their positive experiences. And I feel like they are mentor moms even to me, you know, and it's not even part of the program. And Burge isn't the only parent benefiting from Girls Can Club. Even though 13-year-old Cameron Johnstone was only able to make two of George Mason's Girls Can Club events last year, her father, Ron, found a way to take advantage of the program in his own way. In many ways, I used Girls Can Club to make my daughter do her homework. 